my typical day is that I sit with people and I get to listen. And I listen to what language they speak in. And believe it or not, we all do speak in a certain language. There are people who will say, I'm walking under a gray cloud. That's a visual person. There are people who will speak by saying, everything is just, the, the, the wind is moving, everything is moving all around me. You know, that's a kinesthetic person. And then you have an auditory person. You know, there are people who will come in and say, I, I don't have anything to talk about today, but on my way to see you, this song came on, and I don't know what happened, but I started crying, and then I remembered this story. That's an auditory person. And then you have, um, like I'm thinking of this young girl who, she was 10, and I gave her a, a piece of magnetic fabric and the words, and she wrote the most philosophical, remarkable piece of writing out of these words. That is a you know, mythopoetic person. As an art therapist, I really listen to kind of what I'd call what creative channel are you? And then once I know what that is, I help that person and me understand. So sometimes that involves art making. A lot of times it does. But not because it's like you know, a theme or let's do a drawing. It's more that, for me, it's a uh, show me rather than tell me. And so if I know what channel you're in, it's easy for me to figure out how to ask for that. What I just described to you about the language of imagery, that, that's a joyous way to communicate with people, where you really, really are trying to think about what, not just what are they saying, i.e. what does it mean, but how does that person move about in the world? And we all move about really differently in the world, depending on our creative trunk.